Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. I'm priming with the Nivea Man Post Shave Balm. This is a new one I'm trying out. It's by Maybelline. It's uh, one of the pore eraser ones. I don't really know if I like it yet. And a holy grail product of mine is definitely the Becca Ever Matte Priming Perfector. It definitely um, knocks the oil right out of my face. I'm also trying a different method. I am setting my face with this powder. It is by BH Cosmetics. I'm putting this on top of my primer to set it and I'm actually going to put my foundation on top of it. Going into a foundation, I use basically a lot. It's a drugstore one. It's the L'Oreal True Matte in the color or shade C8. And I'm just taking this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which I actually like this way better than a beauty blender. It just applies everything evenly. I am basically going over my face with this. Okay, I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. And I am filling in my brows, gonna outline them and just fill them in. really no rhyme or reason to this uh, the way I do it I just do it so that the eyebrows full I actually think I'm gonna stop um, including these in my tutorial because I do the same thing all the time just gonna clean this up with the NYX above and beyond full coverage concealer and it's in the color tan I use this all the time definitely holy grail product for me I actually think it's the only concealer I use to do my eyebrows with. Going into this BH Cosmetics, this is basically a eyeshadow primer. It's kind of like the Okra Paint Pot from uh, MAC, but this is actually a primer. I'm just going to apply this before I uh, apply my eyeshadow. It just helps it um, stick and stay longer. Another BH Cosmetics product. This is a palette from BH Cosmetics. It's the Technique to Brazil palette. I'm taking this shade here. It's uh, the pink one or magenta, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to put that into my crease area. Still in that same palette, I'm taking this purple shade here and I'm basically just putting this on my lid. I'm going to pack it onto my lid. And I also actually went back into the pink that I was using earlier, the magenta I was using earlier, and I'm just using it to blend out the harsh line between the purple and the magenta. Okay, dipping my brush into the liquid sugar. This is actually a new product um, I just started using. This is my first time actually using it. I'm dipping my brush in there, getting the liquid out, and then I'm just taking the glitter that I have and I am packing it on top of all that. This glitter I got was only a dollar. I will link where I got it from. I know the site was down a few weeks ago when I tried to check back on it, but it's a bulk glitter site and you could get like a bunch of different glitters for a dollar. It's amazing. Using an L foundation brush, I think this is. I'm just brushing away uh, all of the fallout from the glitter I just applied. I'm just brushing it all off of my face now before I start highlighting. Using the HD LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, I am highlighting.
going in with the real technique sponge i'm using that to blend out everywhere i just highlighted and the key to getting your creams and liquids to really move on your face is to use a clean moist uh, beauty blender or beauty sponge just make sure it's clean and it'll move the product on your face like crazy this is my favorite sponge actually the beauty blender is okay but i actually prefer the real technique sponge more Using the Black Opal Stick Foundation in the shade Black Walnut, I do this all the time too. I'm just taking it and I am contouring with this shade and I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm going to be uh, blending my contour out and just blending, blending, blending it into my skin, bringing some more life into it because when you just apply foundation, it kind of just, it washes out the, natu the natural contour in your face. So... That's all this is doing is putting back the natural contour that I already had. Using the Sasha Buttercup powder, I am setting everywhere that I just highlighted. This just helps for long wear and um, kind of mattifies my face as well. Using a BH Cosmetics powder that I used earlier, I'm actually going to take that on a big fluffy powder brush or Real Techniques, and I'm going to knock all of the Sasha Buttercup powder that I just applied, just blend it into my skin. Back into the palette I used earlier, the Take Me to Brazil palette, I am actually mixing the pink and the purple, and I am smoking out my bottom lash line. Going into the Makeup Shayla palette, I'm actually using um, this highlight shade here. I'm going to take this shade and I'm actually going to just put it in the inner tear duct as my um, inner highlight basically. Using the Kat Von D Trooper ink liner, I am actually creating my wing liner. Um, I actually really love this liner. It makes it so easy for you to just make the most perfect wing liner ever. Using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara, I am putting this on before I actually put my lashes on. Taking this glue, I am actually applying my lashes now. The lashes I'm using are the Ardell Wispies, but if you see they're a little fuller here, because I actually stacked two pairs to give me this effect, so they kind of look more, more plush, more vibrant, more extra. I thought it was pretty, so yeah, I just stacked two Ardell Wispies. Back into the Tarte and Makeup Shayla collab. I'm taking the darkest color here and I'm using it to set the contour that I did earlier. This is just a eye liner that I got from the beauty supply store. Um, I just really like these to um, line my eyes with so I'm doing it now. Set my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray. Again, I don't like the fragrance of it but I do like the longevity that it gives me using one of my favorite highlighters of course is the champagne pop and I'm actually I'm going a little wild on it but I kind of use my uh, real technique sponge later and I kind of toned it down I don't think I showed that here but just putting that you know cheeks on my nose I put it on my um, eyebrow bone too Finishing off with the NYX Liquid Shade Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. You know, I usually go for a new lip. It's rare that I deviate from it, but <laughs> yeah. On top of that, I'm actually adding this Butter Gloss by NYX, and it's in the shade Tiramisu. 
So yeah guys, this pretty much completes my tutorial. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, follow me on all my other handles on my Instagram and also follow me on my Snapchat. Leave any suggestions that you guys have for future videos in the comment section. Again, be sure to comment, like, subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.